Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Talk and Tech Unbox. In today's video, we will unbox a new UXG light and later on we will set up the UXG light for the very first time in a cloud key controller and then we will migrate the UXG light from a cloud key controller to hostify controller. This is the box of the UXG light. We will unbox it and see what we get inside the box. So this is the box of the UXG light. Let's unbox it and see what we get inside the box. This is the box of the UXG light. As you can see, it's already been opened due to the custom duty and for that purpose. So yeah, this is the box of the UXG light. You can see the next thing gateway and here you can see everything like the ubiquity logo yeah so let's remove from the box and see what we get inside the box so yeah you get the uxg light itself okay. we'll keep it aside see what else we get ah this is nothing so this is the power adapter the type c cable so let's check exactly how this uxg light looks let's unwrap it so yeah you see one van port and one LAN port this is the van this is the LAN port and this is the type c power adapter and this is a reset button on the top you see the logo of the UXG Pro and at the bottom you see the QR code yeah so yeah it's uh, like not not too heavy it's lightweight later on we will power the UXG light and we will set up it and connect on our networks so this will be the setup I have a UXG light unify switch 8 150 and a cloud kitchen 2 plus it will will be my controller so i'll adopt these uxd light unify switch and one uap ac pro on the cloud key controller so uxd light is not booted yet i will power it up now and see uh, the status of it you can see the van and LAN color white LED on the van and the LAN port and the cloud key is also booted and the unified switch is also booted so we will add the UAP AC Pro on this network and we will see the setup and configuration of this network so you can see the cloud keys and everything got connected uh, on the same network so today we will see uh, how you can adopt the uxd light for the very first time on the cloud key controller and later on we will migrate from the cloud key gen 2 plus to the hostify controller so let me show you one thing we uh, on our hostify team we have built a hostify device discovery tool let me show you how it works and it has been built for the windows as well as the mac os i'm running on the mac so i can scan for the devices so on the on on this network uh, I'm on the cloud key network so you can see it discover the cloud key and I have one G3 instant cameras so as of now uh, this application is in beta even we can adopt the cloud key and other devices also so right now uh, there are no switch sh showing in adoption uh, request in the device discovery tool so it is still under beta process so once it is fixed i will let you know so i will put down description if you guys want to test out the new device discovery tool uh you can surely check out and give us a feedback on it so right now i have connected the uxd light so we first of all we have to access the unify gateway with the default ip address of 192.168.1.1 also you can check on the videos also uh, right now i have connected all the devices um, how it should be connected so you can see the cloud keys and everything got connected uh, on the same network so right now let me connect to the unify gateway so this is the unify uxg gateway light right now it says me uh, no internet detected 
so first of all i have to go here and i have to uh, click on uh, the uh, triple poe options so i can put the google dns and then this is my password so i have applied the changes it will take some time to reconnect so my internet is connected now so you can see your uni next generation unify gateway light is connected to the internet so i will proceed further click on continue and i can give the name hostify uxz light so uh, beside that you see the two options you can manually connect to unify network other setup options even you can use your unify mobile app store because uh, this uh, uxz light has a bluetooth inbuilt also it will scan the nearby devices and you can adopt it and if your unify console is on the local network then skip the uxz and click on adopt instead so what we will do i will just go ahead and i will check if i have an access to the cloud key gen 2 plus on this network or not even the cloud key i have reset it so i will just set up it again This process is quite easy. If uh, I have a, ma a manually connect, I can manually connect to the Unify network on the Hostify. But I want to show you how you can set up on the cloud key. On the cloud key, if I set up the cloud key, it will directly show up on the network. So you can see the Unify UXG Lite gateway showing up on this controller. As click to adopt, and uh, here I have set the set inform using layer three adoption method. So I can hit adopt both the devices here. So it is adopting. So I can show you a little more about it. Uh, what do we get inside the UXZ light? You can check the port manager. You get one WAN port and one LAN port. And both these are one GBPS interfaces on it. You can check the inside. Unify switch is provisioning. That's why we lost the internet connection. We will just for yeah. So in, uh, I think Unify switch is back now connected and UXG light is also staying up to date and it is connected. So you can check the connections here under the port manager. This is my WAN port and this is my LAN port, which is uplink to the Unify switch 8 port 150 watt. And here is the Unify switch connected. So yeah. So as I was saying, this port uh, on the UXZ light it support uh, one GBPS interfaces. You can check here. And if I go to the settings, I can uh, I have to adopt one access point. So I can create a wireless access point. This is a network default network. You can uh, right now the default it uh, on the same default IP of 192.168.1.1. You can change to any class, and you can apply the changes. Here, from here you can create a different VLANs, global network setting and the global switch settings. And under the internet right now, it only supports a primary WAN connection. So that's the downside it has uh, because the USG 3P supports a uh, failover. You can, uh, that's a um, third port of WAN or LAN. You can create either a WAN uh, two as uh, the failover or uh, the load balance uh, or you can create a LAN too but in the UXZ light you just got a single WAN put in single so that's allowed here you can create a teleport VPN so here you uh, on this UXZ light on a one click you can invite for the teleport VPN that's a good thing also you can create a VPN server support for the wired card open vpn l2tp even you can set up the open vpn client and it also support the uh, ip6 side to side vpn and the open vpn under the firewall it also supports all the firewall rules like the device or uh, identification traffic ident which is the dpi and here the traffic rules you can uh, allow log and even you can do the speed limit of the wired client and you can set the categories like 
and this is the port forwarding and this is the firewall lan in lan out internet so under the journal we have right now the ips ids is off i will set to manual notify and block and i will set to high uh yeah and i will apply the changes and it also support the routing like uh, any all traffic which you want to route on your device even you can want to route a specific domain name category uh, on an ip address region you can use this uh, options St even you can set up a static route also under the profiles you can set the ethernet you can set the wi-fi speed limit radius and ip groups so here under that dashboard you get uh, a USG next gen gateway light uh, uh, I, I mean the image of that UXG gateway light and from here you see the internet I'm not sure why it's not showing a speed options let me check under the settings if we can uh, enable the speed you can check the LEDs on the unified switch and the UXG light also it is adopted even the you can check the cloud key leds also uh, i think it is updating the network as of now you can see the cloud key is also updating and yeah yeah so it is updated so you can check the leds now it's steady blue i can zoom in and zoom out so i will open the unify network application again and check another dashboard you can see the cloud key gen 2 plus and everything shows up here and here right now my mac is connected here you can check the internet health this is the topology my isp uxc light here you can get the animated topology this looks cool from here we can check the latencies also see if the latency works or not yeah so the latency is working you can check the latency here directly so my internet connection is almost uh, as you can see 100 mbps download and upload on this connection so i can just set up the expected isp speed from here Oh, this is not the ideal uh, I mean uh, testing because uh, I don't have uh, one GPPS internet connection so uh, you can get the understanding right now I have uh, only 100 Mbps connection so this speed you get on download and upload you can test it again see if there any improvement or not so with IPS, IDS and DPI traffic identification learning so you can get up to like uh, this much speed so you can consider like if you have one Gbps connection you will get up to 900 Mbps download and upload depending on the so I think that's a pretty good speed you get with the UXC light and if we compare it with the unify usg 3p it has a better speed so we get a good speed uh, with ips ids enable uh, on the uxg light here you can check the inter insights of the cpu as well as the memory and under the settings you can even get the jumbo frames mms clamping or you can check the internet verification you can set to the custom also here you can locate the uxd if i locate and see what changes i get so you can check the here the leds on the uxd is blinking so that's how locate works i will stop the locate now so yeah pretty much everything is working well i mean this is uh uxc light is pretty considerable for a smaller clients uh, where you you don't want to uh, throttle the full uh, cpu speeds of it depending on the size of these devices it, it is performing very uh, better 
at the moment so i think uh, this is the replacement of the usg 3b but only thing you will feel uh, it's missing the the secondary van port or land port they should have added it but as you see the size of this device is very compact and almost a uh, lightweight also you can carry it yeah, it's not a very heavy also you can keep it on your desk also this they don't have any mount i have seen they have bought a mount option for the unify express but not sure if it works for the uxc light so i think that's it a review of my uh, on the uxc light and i have set up the uxc light here on the cloud kitchen 2 plus and i can show you how you can uh, migrate a site from uh, uh, cloud kitchen 2 plus to the host if i let me uh and see what difference we get in the ui so this is my hostify hosted controller so i want to migrate this site so what i will do i will go to the settings system and i will click on export site download the export site you have to go to the hostify site click on site switcher add new and import the site so you have to use this site okay and give the site name uxg light and you will add it let's check so they are disconnected so from here so usg is adopted and it says click to update we upgrade it later on and uh, the unify switch also is migrating getting ready so we have seen uh, the unboxing and setup of the usc light for the very first time on the cloud key controller and we got an overview of uxg light uh, how it's performed and uh, what's the status i mean uh, what speed uh, does it uh, give uh, when running the ips ids and everything we have checked in this video uh, i hope uh, uh, you will get to know about uh, in this video uh, and uh, this was my review and setup of uh, the UXD light uh, along with the uh, unify switch uh, and i will later on add the unify access point so i think it's a compact uh, next gen gateway light which has better specs and speed so yeah that's a good for a small network where you don't need any uh, i mean a full uh, size rack mount uh, router so this will be good on that uh, scenarios i hope you will uh, like this video if you like this video please uh, comment down share and please subscribe to my channel my channel is now monetized so i need uh, you guys help and support uh, so i can uh, get all these uh, new videos for you guys and thanks for supporting see you there bye